Oh, here you are. You're here and we're here. I've got a good bat costume here to show you. Didn't matter what race you were, what color you were, what religion you were, what language you spoke, you watched Mr. Dress Up. Ernie Coombs, Mr. Dress Up, I mean, he was just so kind and gentle. Ernie never forgot a child within him, and that informs everything that he does with children. When you tell people that Fred Rogers and Ernie Coombs came to Canada together, most people don't even realize that they were very close friends. 4,000 episodes, 30 years. There are not that many shows that last that long. Tell us what the secret is to 30 years on the air. I'm a, a child at heart. It's all doing things that I always liked to do when I was a kid. The tickle trunk was this magical, like, Pandora's box. As soon as you open that lid, something was going to happen, something magical. I'm tugboat captain dress up. Is he going to be a wizard? Oh, no, he's a dinosaur. The endless possibility of that. Oh, my, what a lovely day. Judith was able to make Casey come completely alive. I didn't know if Casey was a boy or a girl. Way ahead of its time, not a little bit, a way ahead of its time. Looking back on it now, I wonder, how on earth did I manage to do it for so long? And then how on earth have I managed to survive so long after I finished? Having been Mr. Dress Up for 20 years has probably made me a better person. You assume that he comes home and kicks off his Mr. Dress Up shoes and becomes a different person when he's at home, and <laughs> that just simply didn't happen. The kids tease me a lot because I laugh at his jokes. That's why I married you, because you're such a great audience. I'm a good audience. <laughs> Of course, when Sesame Street came on, they said, oh, that'll be the end of you. There was a question whether the show would go on. We were having a rap party. But then as time went on, I think we were getting the sense that Ernie was getting concerned. How could he possibly continue what he wants to? You made me what I am today. You know that. Hi, Mr. Dressup. Hi. One of the reasons I became an actor was because very early age, this person on television, an adult but not an adult, taught me that it's OK to let my free flag fly. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the great Canadians. Let's do it.